Dan Thomas, the team are in a great run of form at the moment and that's in no small part to you. You must be delighted to finally get your chance in the team. Um, yeah, the boys have been doing brilliant and um, yeah, it's good to get my chance. Um, Phil's been doing well and you know, sometimes it's difficult as a goalie because if the other keeper's doing well, you know, you're not going to get a chance. Are you happy with, with your form since you've come into the team? Yeah, I think I've done well. Obviously, Grimsby is disappointing to concede so many goals. Um, but Wellen and um, Barrow, I thought I'd done well. A clean sheet and you know, the other goal was a penalty. So, you know, it's good, it's good to be playing and getting some games in. Yeah. And how, how do you reflect on, on Grimsby? You, you impressed with so many fine saves, including a penalty, but in the end you conceded four goals, none of which were, were down to you, I guess. Do you, do you take confidence from the performance or, or is um, it about the result? In a way, but as a keeper, like you never want to concede and every goal you concede, you know, you're questioning, should I have done better on that and stuff. Obviously, you know, keepers are there to make saves, so you're always going to make saves, but the ones that go in always, I don't know, hang around in your mind kind of thing. But, yeah. Yeah. but another part of the game, that you contributed to the to the victory against Welling with an assist. There's clearly you know, kicking is is a strong part of your game, and you managed to set up Richard for his goal. Yeah, I've I've always had a like a good long kick on me, so you know it's never been a problem. It's just some like consistency with it sometimes, which I think I've got a lot better at. And um, yeah, I've always had a decent kick on me, so it's one of my strong points, I guess. Yeah. and you've had to be patient with waiting your chance with Phil doing so well, is it? Has it been frustrating or you realise that Phil's an experienced keeper, this is part of your, your development? Yeah, um, last year like I knew Phil was going to be the number one and um, you know I just was going to be the number two and I wanted, like, I wanted to get myself as a better goalkeeper, more consistent and stuff and then this year you know, I'm p trying to push Phil as much as I can and I want to play as well kind of thing so for me to progress as a keeper and that like I need to come in and do well so I can, you know, play as many games as possible. And you, you came back in pre-season, it looked good to prove yourself to Barry Smith. You, know, you, you came back training with the first team and you, you had to win the contract, I suppose, and it was yeah. good to prove yourself as a goalkeeper and to prove your fitness to, to a new manager. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was nice. Um, he said to me to lose, make sure I lose weight and stuff, and I went away and did that. And then, yeah, I thought I was on well in pre-season. All the games, you know, I'd done well. Um, you know, it was good to get a contract because mm. last year I didn't have a contract, so it's yeah. good to have a bit of um, consistency, I guess. Yeah. Not worrying about it. Yeah. And that pre-season, you again similar to Grimsby, maybe you you played really well against Chelsea, but in the end the team lost five-one. But yeah. I guess that that was such a strong Chelsea team that you must look back on that yeah. as as a as a good point rather than. The yeah. fact the result went against us. Well, I think after, straight after the game, you know, you're disappointed you lost five one. But then when you look back at it, and just look back at the game and stuff, you know, you think, you know, I done all right in that game actually. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And you're working directly with Philly, even when you're not playing. You're still playing a part in in his success, in the team's success yeah. by providing the competition and. and the warm-ups in training, you, you, I suppose you spur each other on. Yeah, me and Phil are very close and you know we're very good pals. Like we always speak to each other after games and before games. You know, I probably do his head in a little bit, but um, yeah, we're very close. And like, I'd like to think Phil's success is down to me as well. Mm. From you know, good service, like keep putting pressure on him to you know perform to his best abilities. I guess. Yeah. In, in what way do you do his head in? I'm just annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And I suppose there, there is a, a healthy rivalry there. You say you, you ultimately you want the team to do well and you want him to do well. But yeah. th is there is there a bit of banter between you to kind of people always say goalkeepers are a bit different. Do you do you kind of you feel that extra bond with him? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Since since day one, really, we've mm -hmm. been close. You know, we we kind of similar. We both get each other's jokes mm -hmm. and stuff, and feels having a go at me if I'm not doing things right and so is Chopper as well, Chop, Chopper's close with us as well yeah. so we've got a good little, good little nick here. Yeah. Yeah. So. Ian, Ian has come back, what, what does he bring to the group, he, clearly lots of experience and quality. Yeah well it's, when you don't have a goalkeeper coach it's very hard because you know sometimes you just want to come in, do your goalkeeping and you know go home kind of thing but when 
um, Chopper's not there, you've got to do it all yourself. So like, there's me and Phil trying to work out what we've got to do and stuff. Whereas when he's there, you know, he tells us what to do and you just go and do it. It's, it's much nicer. And, you know, if you question things that you've done in the game, we tell you that you know you haven't done anything wrong or you could have done this better, you could have done that better. It gives you like a different opinion. Yeah, and he, he seems like quite a hard taskmaster. He really puts you through your paces. Yeah, he does put me through his paces. I think he's a bit biased towards Phil, but <laughs> yeah, he does. But you've, you've come in, you, you, you're doing well, you, the whole team are playing well. As I said, that's a big part down to you. You, you. you must be looking to continue in the team, I suppose. Phil is returning to fitness, but yeah. at the moment you're, you're the man with the shirt. Yeah, well, I'm, you know, I think I've done enough to warrant keeping my spot but you know it's up to uh, the gaffer to decide you know if Phil goes straight back in you know I can say I've done well and I've gone in and done well and you know I'm not going to question Phil because I think he's been excellent for like last season and the start of this season so you know I'll just go back and work as hard as I can and then next time I get my chance to make sure I keep the shirt. And Tranmere tomorrow night the whole team must be confident of, of going anywhere at the moment and getting a result. Yeah I think we're very confident to go there because they, you know, they haven't picked up probably the results that they want to pick up. And um, yeah, I think we're high on confidence. The boys at the back have been solid, and we're scoring goals. So I don't see why we can't go there and get a result.